Oh yeah, it's toasty. Okay, now we're going to check and see how good this one came out. Hopefully everything came out. This is probably still extremely hot so we'll get to see it fizzle in the water. Oh, there it is. It looks good so far. Uh, we'll see how they turned out exactly once I have to wash them up. Okay, this is the completed coin. This is bismuth bronze. It's got a very nice color to it. The details came out quite good as well. This metal typically casts and sands very easily. And it's 5% bismuth by weight, as well as 5% tin by weight, so it's about 90% copper, 5% tin, 5% bismuth. There is still some trace of zinc in there, but I think most of that's burned off by now. Uh, the bismuth makes it machine better, and it also makes it tarnish a lot slower, especially. Bismuth in the the bismuth in this metal doesn't alloy like you would expect the tin or anything else to do. In the liquid phase, the bismuth will stay dissolved in the copper, but as it solidifies, the bismuth actually crashes out of a solid solution and stays liquid, and little globules of it uh, form at the grain boundaries of the metal. Now this does decrease the strength slightly with this, but I haven't actually measured it, so I don't know exactly how much it does, but it improves the machining properties, because since uh, bismuth is a uh, soft metal, when you sand, or for when you grind it especially, I've noticed that grinding this a, a coin made of bismuth bronze, it heats up a lot less than a coin made of just regular bronze, or copper, or any other metal. Now this is because the bismuth acts as a solid lubricant. Since it's soft, it can smear across the surface as it's being ground, or if you're drilling into it as well. And this decreases the friction between the tool and the part. And since bismuth is pretty hard to oxidize, it also makes the makes the casting keep it so good shiny luster for a lot longer.